Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and today's Torque Steer Tuesday. We're going to show you what I'm packing in my 2019 Toyota Tacoma. So stay tuned and find out what the items are and what they're all about. Well guys, as you can see, the table is full of all the accessories I carry in Twist. Uh, again, this is mostly on a daily basis of what stays in the truck. If I am going to be doing any excursions or anything a little bit more advanced riding or rural driving, I may include a few more items. But basically, we're going to have everything from simple roadside repairs all the way to emergency first aid to vehicle extractions, lighting and communication and PPE. So we'll go quickly through what I carry. I do carry a set of windshield wiper blades in case mine get damaged. These are very inexpensive and I'm lucky that the Tacoma has really good storage capacity, which allows me to carry everything without anything out in the open. So prying eyes will not know what's in the vehicle if they look through the window. But anyway, so I carry a set of windshield wiper blades and some windshield washer fluid. You can get it in summer, winter. I carry the winter ones only. It's good to see if you have bugs or if you have a frosty morning. It's always good to have some extra fluid to keep up in your tank. I also carry snow brush. I do carry one year round, even though that summertime you probably do not get snow too much. It can happen. And you can also use this for other things to clean up uh, the vehicle um, and to have it as a tool to you know use it for other specific items but for the majority of it the snow brush does stay in i do carry a tarp and this can help me uh, when i'm changing a flat tire or doing some work along the side of the vehicle and it might be wet or muddy conditions and also if you're excursion out in the wild and things go wrong and you have to stay there the blue color on a tarp will be noticeable and you can use it as a signaling device. I also carry some cords for the block heater, carry another ice scraper device. Again, this can be used for cleaning your windows, keeping your windows clean. I do carry a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher for safety, especially if you're out in the bush and you do happen to come across another vehicle that's on fire or if you have unfortunately your vehicle catches on fire and i carry a level one first aid kit i also carry a, um, a toe strap and a pin and i'll show you why I, this goes in conjunctions it's a just a basically a hookup procedure but this can help yourself if you're in a stuck situation or others that you may come across so I always carry the toe strap. This one here that I carry is a three inch, 20 feet long, 27,000 uh, pound capacity. Since I don't have a winch, this is a must for a lot of people in off-roading situations. Along with that, I do carry a rut shovel. So in case you need to dig out or you need to use it to help you extract your vehicle, this is another handy item to use. I do carry two basic uh, kits for booster cables. I carry the traditional one and I carry a portable one. The portable one is if you're by yourself or you're in an area that's not easily accessible for other vehicles. This can help tremendously. Plus it's a little power pack to charge your items. And then this one here is a more of a traditional one. If that other one does go or loses energy, you've got another one as long as you have another vehicle or a battery to boost off of. So I do carry two. Carry a little utility knife just in case you need to go in the bush and cut some wood down to start a fire, which brings me to my basically um, little torch. So those two I carry in conjunction with it. I never go anywhere without my owner's manual. You can consult your owner's manual for resources of your vehicle operation and uh, information on how to get roadside and phone numbers especially if it's uh, your local dealer as well. So don't keep that in the house, keep that in your truck. I always keep a little hot dog because usually if I go dirt biking, we might have a little barbecue afterwards. So this is kind of more just for convenience. Carry some bear spray and some water. This is, helps you with your first aid kit. If you have an eye injury or you need a stream of clean water to clean out a wound or whatever. And obviously the bear spray to keep you safe when you're in bear country. 
For lighting, I carry uh, three lights. I carry this one here, which can help you on the side of the road. It's got three functions and an emergency function. This one here, the emergency function can go about uh, 30 meters, 20 meters, uh, depending on the traffic where your vehicle is to warn under their drivers. And I've got a couple headlight lamps to help you eliminate while you're changing your tire or working on your vehicle in low lighting or no lighting conditions. I also carry for PPE set of glasses. This is good uh, eye protection if you're working under the hood. Again, dusty, dirty, windy conditions. And a basically your high vis jacket. This will help other drivers spot you. You become more situated awareness of your surroundings and to help other drivers spot you early on. A must for low lighting conditions as well in conjunction with the lights. Moving on, we've got tire pressure gauges. I got electric and a manual one. And it also comes with uh, an emergency kit where you can bust out a window. This stays in the glove compartment. And I'll show you where I keep all this stuff. Going on, communication device, two-way radios. Again, this is more if you're out with your buddy and you have two vehicles off-roading, you can keep in contact with each other rather than rely on cell phones that may not be good. And lastly is a wind-up radio. This can serve as an emergency if you lose all power. You've got a radio, you've got a solar panel, you can charge your cell phone on it. It comes with some lighting as well and just any type of uh, auxiliary options you can have. This stays in the glove box. And a couple more things. Gloves, one for keeping your hands warm if it's cold, and the other one to work on a vehicle like changing a tire or anywhere under the hood. I give matching ones with the high-vis jacket as well. Lastly, I keep my, obviously, my documentation and some extra cash and some other information in here if I need it. The only thing that is not on this table will be a, a, some garbage bags. I do bring some garbage bags to clean up my litter, to clean up other people's litter that they may have left behind, but also to use as a rain jacket if it's pouring rain out there. I can rip it out, put it over and have more like a, a poncho. Also keep some extra clothing in there as well, just in case you have the temperature swings and you need to wear a jacket if it's nice and hot in the morning, could change to be very cold. So guys, let's jump out to the truck. We'll put all this away. I'll show you how neat and tidy that uh, I, I can put all this in and keep myself safe uh, along the road when I'm driving in not so great conditions. Hey guys, well anyway, everything's back in the truck. Let's go take a look how clean it is and how much good storage this Tacoma has. So everything you've seen on the table is inside this truck. We'll start off with the back seat. Let me open it up. And the only thing I wasn't able to fit would be the, uh, the snow brush. I could get a smaller one. I tend to keep everything clear in case you're in a, a collision rollover or you're in a hard braking. I don't like loose items all over the place. However, that's nice and low on the floor, so the chances of hitting you in the head is low. So we'll start off with behind the driver's seat, a back seat. So in here, just carry a fire extinguisher, the first aid kit, and then the first aid kit, I did add the eye wash, and I also added the bear spray. So that's there, and also the portable booster kit for the battery. So that goes underneath there, it's all nice, tidy, neat, and it's secure. If we lift up the back seat here, under here, again, easy access for the driver. If I have to exit the driver's side, everything is here within easy reach. And in this compartment, as you can see, it's nice and tidy, secure as well. I keep the uh, high-vis uh, jacket. I keep uh, some of the cords, the knife, and also the lighting as well. So that stays underneath there. It's nice and easy to get in there. I'll get the seat belt up later. This is kind of a little bit of a, there we go. Once you do the other side, then I'll have to wait on that. So if we go along to the back here. Again, nice and easy and clean. This is where the majority of the storage will be. On the passenger side, of course, everything that's on the table is in there. From the windshield washer fluid, tarp, toe strap, and everything in between. And under the seat here. It is not much actually. So here is where I kept the windshield washer fluid 
and the hitch pin. I was going to try to put the snow brush in there. Unfortunately, it is just a little bit too large. Again, I'll keep it on the floor or I can also get a smaller snow brush to get it compact. And passenger seat in the center console. I hope I win. <laughs> if not, I've got the two-way radio, my CDs in there because I do still go old school a bit. And then the glove compartment is where all the electronics and everything are there to get a better one. So the tire gauge, radio, owner's manual. I did forget to say that I do add a pen and a pencil along with some writing paper inside the owner's manual just in case you have to document something and you need to exchange information and your cell phone doesn't work. So basically that is it. So yeah, she's nice and clean. Again, when everything's there, it's out of uh, everything's out of sight. Excuse the mess, I do need to detail the truck up and it's part of my um, to-do list. So again, quite a bit of an accessory list in there, all hidden, nicely, neat, tucked away, and safe, secure. Well guys, that brings it to the end of uh, Torx here Tuesdays. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Drop a comment in to what you carry in your truck. Again, everybody's gonna be different, so I'd like to hear some of your ideas. Again, that's just a start with mine. I'm pretty sure it'll grow as time goes on. So if you're new around here, hit like, hit subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And we'll catch you on the next episode of Torx here Tuesdays, every Tuesday on Cordetti Motorsports. I'm Jeff Cordetti, your host, and we'll catch you later. Stay loose.